Gareth County Cup winners this evening, 4-2 against ended against, uh, against Torquay United. Ladies, really, really good way for you with the girls to win the season. Yeah, perfect. I think um, having come up three goals short of the league title on Sunday and having put in such a huge amount to try and score 11 goals in the final day and to get to eight, to come back four days later and put in a performance like that. And I think, to be honest, there were, there were large parts of the game that we dominated. Um, a couple of little concentration things from set pieces has cost us a couple and maybe made it look a little bit more even than it perhaps was. I mean, you mentioned the, the league season there and, and of course that must have been a real disappointment because you probably look at, look back over the season and think, oh, you know, little bits here and there and just to lose it on goal difference when you, you might have got a point here or there extra. And But that's what football is all about, isn't it, I suppose? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you look back at the season and you think um, there are various points where we maybe could and, and should have picked up more points but there's there's other places where you think and you've gone away from home and maybe haven't played so well and then you've nicked a final uh, last minute goal and it, it tends to even itself out and and those kind of little ways that games don't always work out how you want them to those little slip ups they, I suppose they can you can use that as a bit of a motivating tool in the final I guess because you, you've got to warn the girls you know don't take anything for granted even if they're in Torquay or a lower, lower division team yeah I mean that's exactly it the, the girls came in and, and we planned as if it was like any other game. Like you saw us warming up with a speaker on and the music going, like we always do. But um, we had to make sure that you know we were on it from from minute one. And I think the first half we controlled large parts of it, but we were a little bit snatchy in our finishing and potentially left a few goals on the field. Only to come in at half time one nil for a stoppage time goal. I was a little bit disappointed, um, but the second half performance was very very controlled dominated the ball, dominated the territory and I think they got their just desserts tonight. I mean you mentioned that you know the goal did come I think in first half top stoppage time and maybe playing in front front of like three hundred or so people, maybe the girls aren't always used to that, maybe the play wasn't quite as fluid as, as it kinda of can be week to week. Is it, does that do you think that's the case? Um, it wasn't quite as fluid as, as Sunday, but then when you yeah. score eight <laughs> you're gonna have to play pretty well going forward. Um, there were moments where I think we maybe dwelled on the ball a tiny bit but you know we got the result in the end and we scored four great team goals and we've also created probably six to eight really good chances off of that so I think I think they've, done, they've played really really well to be honest and like you say you soaked up the game really after the break and, and, and kind of that second goal from Corrin just that does kind of um, it probably puts a, a bit of a the final touches on it in some regards. I know there were four more goals that followed that, but it really yeah. kind of put you in the, in the ascendancy there. I think scoring that so soon after half time um, is a bit of a dagger if you concede that goal, especially if you've just conceded one before half time and then to concede one straight after half time. It, we couldn't have really timed that second goal any better. Um, the third one I felt had, had killed the game, but then we we slipped a little bit from a corner, just the sort of unlucky ricochets dropped and and they scored and but. To be fair, we got the fourth pretty quickly and, and put a nice little bit of gloss on the scoreline, which was lovely. I mean, that's the point. I suppose even at 3-0, when it goes to 3-1 with 15 minutes to go, the psychology can change a bit, can't it? Sometimes you, you feel some of the Torquay fans here tonight will kind of get behind them a bit and you do worry, don't you? But then, like you say, Tash scores another great goal at beating the keeper at the near post. Really good strike. So. Yeah, I mean, you saw it when, when it was 3-1 and there was sort of like a five or six minute spell where they, they did sort of set up camp in a half, but I didn't really feel like... I didn't feel like they were gonna they were gonna be able to play through or, or really score or really test Carly unless it was a set piece. And to be fair, the, the second goal they scored in second half stoppers time was a brilliant free kick, like right in the top corner. Um, we could have had two Carlys and they wasn't saving it. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, Tashu did score a couple tonight. You're gonna lose her to, to Yeovil, of course. Um, and, and she's been a great source of goals. I mean, during your time here and even a couple of years before. I mean, she's uh, she really knows where the net is and, and probably gonna go into what is probably her level now. You know, like the second tier. Yeah, I mean, she's been fantastic for me. I mean, I've only been here seven months, but she's always made herself available. She's always at training. She's always there, and the effort level's always high. And when we were approached by Yeovil in, in March time, probably wasn't an ideal time for us. Uh, actually, it was probably a little bit before that, end of February time. Probably wasn't ideal for us because we were going into a little bit of a title running, but she's never let that affect her. And we wish her all the best. And if she ever gets a little bit bored, then she can come back and play in the winter time when they've got a rest. But I mean, the other girls tonight as well. You can see, uh, you know, I, I must admit I don't see them every week, but I just you know, week to week to week, they seem to look better when it when I whenever I see them. The girls, you know, just composure on the ball or the way they link up together and, and those little things. Yeah, I think a lot of it comes from trust. Um, I mean, when I first came, they were playing in a slightly different way, and we were trying to dominate the ball a little bit more. 
Um, and I think maybe sometimes a couple of people sort of went back to habits and it went long and we sort of gave possession away where we didn't have to. And then the longer the season's gone on, the more they've trusted each other with possession and the more they've trusted each other in difficult situations and things like that. And as it's grown, the, 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 the speed and the level of competence with and without the ball has been superb, to be fair. And of course, this kind of comes into the summer break with the girls. Now, how have you enjoyed your, your kind of first, I guess, half season, I suppose, because so you weren't here at the beginning of the year, but how have you enjoyed your time so far playing you know, with these girls? Uh, it's been super. I've really enjoyed it. Like, even though your coach is going to like, Sheffield United, we played a cup game and we went up there for the weekend and we all had like dinner out and stuff like that the night before and breakfast together in the morning. And it's a really tight-knit group. Um, they make my life quite easy. As in, like we said, came in at half-time. And then I said to Curly, you know, in terms of corners and free kicks and stuff, have we got have we got any ideas about what we're doing? And she said, you know, can I go and stand on the goalkeeper? Because we felt that maybe if we put the corner in there and then second half you saw, she's come for one, it's dropped down and Corrin scored. So having players that are proactive like that makes my life very easy. We're going to come in at half-time and go, can we try that? Can we try that? We like doing this. This was we're struggling with. And as long as people communicate with you, it does make your job really easy. So I mean, I've, I've loved every minute to be fair. And, and of course, you know, like you say, losing losing touch there when you've got those, so many players doing so many things right for you. You know, hopefully you'll be able to compensate for that lack of her goals and uh, and score them through other players. I mean, uh, and and have a really good season next year too. Yeah, that's the hope. Um, we are lucky to have sort of five or six girls that are playing. Um, who are under sort of 20 years of age, a couple of them are attackers, so they're going to get much many more minutes on the on the pitch now to try and impress. And obviously, there's summer, and potentially if there's people that come available, then maybe we can fit them in. And there's sort of a long-term plan for myself to try and get us a, a reserve team of maybe younger, young some younger girls, so it's got a constant feed and they can learn to trust the system and play sort of our way before they try and make that big step up because it's a huge step up from sort of under 16s to the level we're playing that week in week out. Have you already thought about anything like pre-season ahead of next season yet, or is that kind of a bit too far um, down the line? I'm not going to lie, I've thought about it. Uh -huh. I started thinking about it in February, to be really? fair, but uh, I haven't acted too much on it yet because with a title run-in and trying to win a cup final, we had, we had to make sure we're focused, and I can't tell them to stay focused if I'm looking five months down the line. So it's been... A little bit low key, but we, it, there is work going on behind the scenes in terms and, of pre-season. And of course, I mean, you're involved in like football and community. Of course, is, that's right, isn't it? And then, yeah. and, and then, of course, you saw obviously you see a lot of, uh, you know, the as you say there, you know, the kind of development of youth football and girls football and things like that. So, I guess for you personally, this is a really good project as well. And as you say there, you know, the idea of setting up a, a like a reserve team, a feeder, if you like, to, to, to the first team is is just you know potentially a really good opportunity to kind of grow what is already you know quite well supported uh, a group of girls. Really. Yeah, I mean, that's having done the work through the footballing community, I'm doing a little bit more things now. I'm ladies manager with female football development and like girls only football mashups, which is um, an FA run scheme. Um, I've been exposed to it a little bit more. Um, and I think, uh, to be brutally honest with you, I've only been working at Excel for about a year. So and when I came, I didn't even know they had a ladies team. <laughs> And then to I, spoke to, I spoke to Chad, the old manager, in sort of October time, end of September, and he said to me, do you want to do it? And fortunately enough, they thought enough of me to give, a, give me the opportunity. And yeah, I mean, it, it seems like the game's growing every week, which is, which is only a good thing, because the more people come out and watch, and the more people keep coming out and watching, and if we can keep impressing and turning in performances like we have tonight, and like we did on Sunday, and to be fair, the previous two weeks before that, when we've won big games as well, um, it's only a good thing. And like you say, 300 plus people here tonight to, to see that. And, you know, it seems to be growing year on year. And as you say that, you know, hopefully um, people will start buying into it more and more and just kind of come enjoy the game for, for what it is. Yeah, the more support we can get, the better. I mean, obviously, with this place being quite close to Torquay, they probably had a fairly yeah. vast majority. But I had a fairly noisy bunch in and around the dugout that were there who come solidly week in, week out, whether it's raining, snowing, sleeting, or like tonight, we were blessed to have some nice weather. Um, but, yeah, the more people we can get here enjoying the, enjoying the football, the better. Thank you very much. Go and enjoy it. No worries. Thank you very much.